1994, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas debuted in October of that year, forever changing the music landscape of the holiday season. All right, here is the Queen of Christmas discussing the highly anticipated album almost 30 years ago. I just want to do a Christmas album like for myself. I mean, to wrap my presents by, and just because I love the holidays enough. Every time, you know, Christmas rolls around, I get ideas for different Christmas songs, and I've been kind of pushing them aside and pushing them aside. And last year, I just decided to do it. The following year, I got to sit down with a superstar singer. This is when she was married to Tommy Mottola. At that point, he was the head of Sony Music before their contentious divorce. And I got a chance to sit down with her uh, because she was promoting her special on Fox. And, you know, she is notoriously late. I had to wait, I don't know, well over an hour for her to get there. And when she got there to the set, she came with her assistants. She looked around and she said, I do not like the color of the background. We paint it. And they did. Here is my report from 1995. Well, lots of people tuned in to watch another singing sensation, Mariah Carey, live in concert right here on Fox 5 last night. Mariah told our Rosanna Scotto that she felt like everyone in that audience was a friend. But she says it can be tough being a pop diva. Oh especially when your husband is Tony Matola, the president of your record label. How'd you like that one, huh? <laughs> like working with your husband and then living with him. It can be a difficult thing, but we both do our best. You ever just say, Tony, I don't want to talk about this right now. I just yeah. want to relax. And he says that to me, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do you say back when he says that? I say, oh, no, we're talking about it. That's it. Now, of course, she's no longer married to Tommy, and all these years later, a mother to twin son Moroccan and daughter Monroe, it's reported that that song makes her a cool $2 million every holiday season. That's right. Okay, moving on.